It is event four, but it is the second event that the teams will take on here this week. This is the first time the P-Bars are making their debut at the CrossFit Games. You'll notice the teams are the first ones to use this new apparatus, and you'll notice that it has a little bit of a bend in the middle, so these athletes will have to stay tight in their core and their arms as they traverse across these bars. Gymnastics heavy. Guys, this is a, a, a shoulders burner. What do you think, Carter? I, I think you should go for it. Okay. Get them out of the way. I'm glad I get my pegboard out of the way. Okay. Okay, then it's better. I'm very confident in my dips. But if you feel confident in yours, you can go second on the dips and I'll go last I in the pegs. We can go do some dips right now. I'm a good dipper. You're a good dipper. If you're a good dipper, then it's fine. This is obviously the other heats of teams. We're, we're a stronger team. Wednesday event two. That was probably the worst experience I've ever had at the CrossFit Games. Inside the Coliseum, event number four for the teams. Rich Froning smashed those dips, barely rested, dropped off the P-bars, jumped right back up, traversed. Reykjavik is also making a move. We were wondering earlier about Lauren Fisher's shoulder. This is a ton of demand on the shoulders and we wondered how her shoulder was gonna hold up with this. Obviously Lauren can do dips. She did aid, but she was starting to struggle a lot towards the end on the last two. She managed to push through them. She jumps up and she just starts going over again. You can see that she's struggling even getting over. Her triceps are just smoked. Now she's got to make it beyond those red tape markers. And you can see the fight right now in Lauren Fisher. She's got to go back and re-traverse the bars again. The penalty really crucial because she has to traverse every time she breaks a set. I think she took about six or seven minutes to do 15 dips. The mistake was obviously not doing a kip on the dip, but also in the heat of the moment, take one minute and rest, collect yourself, and then you go again. And I just kept going over and over again, and I would get one, then walk back over, get like one, maybe no rep, and it literally just felt like the whole season was falling apart. Kip, Lauren, kip! Kip, that's what Comp Porter was saying, Kip. Obviously that was so difficult to just stand on the floor and not being able to help out. And she couldn't hear when you were trying to call to her. She thought she was kipping the dips and she wasn't, it was like things were just too rushed. While Taylor Williamson is crushing the dips, Lauren Fisher is still struggling for Reykjavik and you can see Con Porter, they have dropped the worm. I could feel first place disappearing. It's just really hard for me because I feel like the fittest and best I've ever been and I couldn't even do 15 dips. It was like a disaster. These things can happen. It was very unfortunate that it happened for us. I didn't come here for this. None of us came here to participate. We come to win. I realize that it's near impossible for us to win the cross against now but there are 200 points that have gone and there are still 900 points at least up for grabs. And we do not give up. I never give up. I will continue.